Coach Jackson came over and caught the kind of third quarter you guys were dominating against Green. Green, yep. And you guys are Westerville. We are. Can you guys beat any of the three high schools in Westerville? Does it matter where the kids are going to go to high school? For you? It does not matter. So okay. Westerville School District is an open district. Uh, most of our kids right now feed into North, but it's an open district. So you can open and roll at any time that you want after your eighth grade year. Gotcha. Because I was talking to CJ mm -hmm. Wells, and he was like, I want to go to South. Yeah. As no, he's like... going to North. <laughs> he's going to that. North. I love... I've got two kids in North right now. Okay. Uh, starting backfield quarterback and a senior running back. And, uh, no, he, he's going to North. I've been recruiting him for years. <laughs> <laughs> Did? Well, here's the thing about it. It's within the district. It's not like you're really recruiting. I mean, it's like no, he's going to go where he's going to go, right? Yeah, and he it's lives in the North is. District. And, okay. Uh, but, you know, we like North. We like what they're doing down there. It took their lumps this year. Um, they got a very young team. That'll Are both be very boys coming back? Both year. of your boys coming no, back? No, my senior will be gone, but I've got a seventh grader that'll be eighth grade okay. next year, and he'll be he'll start as a freshman. Okay, you put for the Buckeyes, right? I did, yeah. How many years? Uh, well, 93 to 97, started quarterback for two years. Okay. Yeah. So, were you the, you switched off. Joe you, Germain. You and Joe Germain. I remember yep. the double-headed double -headed monster. Though. Yeah. And then you guys won the Rose Bowl in 97, right? The, yeah, the 96 Rose. 96 season, 97 Rose Bowl. Yep. Yeah, I remember. That was Cooper's. It was. It was Cooper, uh, right? It was John Cooper, yeah. Yeah. About his oh, man. ninth you, year. You guys were a good combo. I was fired up about that. I liked that well, combo. We were loaded. I mean, right? I mean, here we're in Sandusky, the home of Orlando Pace, right? One of the greatest yeah. Buckeyes of all time. Yeah. Our uh, roster was loaded. I mean, we had great players. We had two first rounders on that team with Fickle. him and Sean Springs. Fickle was on that team. Luke Fickle was on that team. Yeah. Mike Vrabel was on that team. You know, two of the best coaches in football today. So the team was loaded. Winfield Garnett, who was uh, captains with me in '97, was a defensive lineman. I mean, it, it, the one thing John Cooper could do was recruit talent, right? Um, yeah. And the reality is, if you just beat Michigan a couple of times, John Cooper might still be the coach of the State because he had four <laughs> national championships. Um, so, no, it was a great time, great group of guys, and, uh, you know, it was some of the best times of my life. You guys got a bunch of Buc former Buckeyes on the team, like you, like coaching on the staff we do. with you. We do. Is that on purpose, or are you trying to get It is on purpose. Okay. No, it's on purpose. Partially just due to, you know, when we all have kids. Um, so, obviously, you talked to Danny Wells, right? He had two kids that played in our program. His oldest is now in seventh grade. CJ is a sixth grader, so he's been here for three years with us. Winfield Garnett's had two kids to come through this Eagles program. I have three that have played. Um, we had Tito Paul. He had his son here last year. D. Miller will be here next year with his son. So, so it's very purposeful because I mean, we understand that if you can really pour into young men at this level, it can take them a long way. It's more than just football. We try to teach life lessons. But when I've got a former Buckeye, a guy that's played in the NFL, could come in and teach a kid how to play football, it, it doesn't get any better than that at this level. And we realize that this level is, is they're building – this is the fundamental foundational blocks that they're building for the rest of their football career. So we try to do things like real football. We're not gimmicky. You know, we're not running offenses that you see in youth football that you'll never see at the high school level. Uh, we run high school formations. We run a high school offense defensively. You know, Coach Garnett, Coach Webb are very deliberate in how they teach defense, right? So our guys know gaps. They know how to line up. They know what a five technique is. They know what their gap assignment is. They know if they've got to get to the flats. And then on the offensive end, you know, our quarterbacks read coverages. You know, we, we have concepts. We have a high-low concept. We have flood concepts. We're reading the free safety to determine what side to go on four verticals. So we challenge the kids really to be football players, not just out here using their athletic ability. Listen, I know that football is tough because I played high school and then I coached it. So I'm into the stuff that you're talking about right, right now. Not a lot of people are. A lot right. of people are just speaking Mandarin Chinese. Too. I know. But, like, that's important to know those things. Uh, as Beanie knows, as you know, football comes to an end. Right. Right. Ultimately, it's a vehicle to get an education. If you can do what he did, do what right. you guys didn't go, maybe go to a next level play in the pros. Mm -hmm. so, some type of pro that's great. But eventually, the injuries catch up with the father times undefeated. I know right. you know that. Well, you know, I, I relay it a little differently. Um, I relay it as a, an attractive woman that never gets old. Right. Um, at some point, you're going to get too old for her. She's not going to want you anymore. And so you have to use the vehicle when you have it. And for most people, it ends before you want it to. All right, most guys will never play after high school. And then if you have an opportunity to play in college, most people will never play and get paid for it. And so we relay those messages to the kids early and often. But the thing that we realize is the principles that are established in a game of football are second to none. It's the greatest game ever created. Because right? 11 guys have to do the same thing at the same time in order to have success. One guy misses, we don't have success. And so in translating that message, we tell them, like, when you cross the white line, everything you learn on this football field will allow you to be dominant in anything else you do, right? So whether you have an opportunity to go play football all the way through the NFL, or you start your own business, or you go work for a Fortune 500 company, the principles you learn in football 
will allow you to excel in all those other things. You know how to compete. You know how to get up once you're knocked down. You know how to fight through adversity. When there's two minutes on the clock, you're not in panic mode because something has to get done. The other, you know, and people in normal society don't really get to have that opportunity and then have that translate to whatever it is they do professionally. And so we realize that these kids are learning more than just football. Most of them will never play in college, but the lessons that they learn will carry them a lifetime. Beanie comes from Akron. Where are you from? New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. Where at? Patterson, New Jersey. Yeah, oh, bricks man. and glass. Patterson, New Jersey is kind it's of a rough place uh, sometimes. It's really tough. It's tough. My brother is a city council member there. Um, yeah, my mother and father were babies when they had us. The reality is the fact that we've been able to have the little success we have is amazing. Um, but it, it is a tough community, a tough hometown. And uh, that's why I stayed in Ohio to raise. Remember my wife, she's from Madison, Ohio. She loves football. And uh, Ohio's home now. Biggest thing you want kids to take away from playing in a championship environment like this is the state championship environment. If you win today, second round, if right. you won first round, you're in the state final tomorrow. Right. That's how it's set up. Yeah. What's the biggest takeaways from a state semifinal today, potentially a state final tomorrow? What's the biggest takeaway you want the kids to get? Well, first of all, first off, our expectation is to play for the championship game, right? We set high expectations for them because I always want the guys to set their expectations high. That way, if you fall short, you still did something pretty special. Um, but the things I like them to take away is that, you know, I, I, I shared a story with them. It's like the first day of school, right? You go to the first day of school, typically you had a new outfit to wear, new shoes. You're excited about that. But you didn't know what the unknown. You didn't know the teacher you are going to have back in our day, right? You didn't know who we were going to be here. So you are a little nervous about that. But once you got there, you realized that it was just school. So for them, it's a new environment, but it's just football. Play your game. Get through adversity the way you always do, right? Win the next play. And learning those lessons will take you a long way. The thing I like about the state championship is you get to see teams you've never saw and you get to compete at a high level. And that's really what we want to do. We want to have these guys to compete at a high level. Because part of our message is I want them to compete in everything they do, right? So whether you're playing a video game at home against your older brother, right, or you're in math class, I want you to compete at a high level. And that's the takeaway we hope they get from us. Wildest thing about this place is... There's so much film available and everything else and all of their sports. And when they move forward into high school, junior high, you'll you'll have film. You're not going to see film on any of these teams. You're just playing them. Right. You're playing them blind. Right. You don't it's know. It's like kind of cool, right? Yeah, it's, it, it's a blind thing it, anymore. It's not like that nervous. anymore. You're a little nervous going into the unknown. And we've had a good team for a few years now. Our team last year was just too heavy. Our running backs didn't fit the criteria. But this is a really good team. we got good linemen and good players. So we felt pretty confident. But at the same time, it's good for the, for the guys to get away from their local community and go out and see other teams playing a beautiful facility like like this and be challenged a little bit. Who do you guys have next? So we had we had Green first, then we had Delaware Hayes next. Is there a potential Dublin matchup? Uh, I don't think uh, du Dublin. Yes, there is a potential Dublin matchup if they went out. Braxton's son is the coach, or the. the well, no, no. Braxton's son is the lower level. So he's, he's the lower level. Okay, right. he's the next level down. He's the okay. next level I was down. Say I want to see you guys play down. That'd, yeah, be, that'd yeah. be something, right? It would be. Something. He's pretty yeah, talented. He is talented, but he's, he's the lower level down. And so uh, not not this year, but there's there's going to be plenty more years future. of that. Absolutely, yeah. There'll be a chance. That's right. if we don't get him to come and join the Eagles. <laughs> what do you think of this facility here in it's, Sandusky? It's fantastic. Um, the only other place I've seen similar to this is over at Canton. And this, you know, I love this place. I mean, quite frankly, Coach Webb and I are talking, we need something like this in Columbus, Ohio. This is fantastic whenever you can have, you know, this many youth teams playing at once. It's built well. This is great. Got anything else for me, Coach? Yes. Thank you for the time. Thanks for all the, the years of, uh, I was a Buckeye fan in the 90s. Thank you for all the years of winning. Thanks for beating Arizona State in the, uh, Absolutely. <laughs> the yeah. Rose Bowl. Uh, and, hey, good luck to you guys moving forward. Thanks. Appreciate it.